Good morning YouTube. Okay, so today is a day of um, stock fencing. Got a little bit of a hedgerow to tidy up as well. Now this is the job which, if you have a look back through previous videos, that I've done um, a last minute late season uh, weed spray on uh, mare's tail, on horse tail. Um, you might hear on the van, it is absolutely lashing it down. Um, so Nick and I are uh, going to try and make the most of the day. Tomorrow, it's, it's a Friday, so tomorrow is Saturday. And um, yeah, we don't particularly want to be working over a weekend, especially do want to take, take the day off and then um, work on a Sunday. But you know, needs must. So we're going to see how we can get on. Uh, we're already pretty damp because we've got them picked up all the uh, supplies which I've just launched over into the field. Not sure how much filming I'm going to get done but um, we'll see what we can do. Anyway, I hope you enjoy what footage we do get. Okay, so I'll just quickly run through. It's this face fencing that we're doing. As you can see, it's all just got hit by a hawthorn which got tackled down over there. Um, so we're coming through here with the See the fence has just been engulfed and broken. Posts have all rotted through. Some of them are salvageable, most are not. You can see this mare's tail where I sprayed. It's been a bit successful, but not as good as I'd hoped. So we're going to stream through all here first. I've got a lot of, I'm going to have Nick tackling the front hedge, which was uh, traditionally laid. But unfortunately has failed, collapsed, died, not been maintained, but I imagine it would have looked lovely. If we had a lot more time, we could always try and salvage a bit, but what we're going to do is this year is we're just going to prune it through and then in spring I'll uh, try and interweave it a little bit in the bits that are salvageable, which could be this section. But we'll do that another day. Now we're just coming through here. The fencing. It's a real bog. And then through here as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's make a little bit of noise and uh, try and get this whole fence out. Okay, so we've. Uh, it didn't take a lot to get those old posts out, a lot of them. I uh, was surprised actually, some of them like this. And here you can see it's hardly in the ground. It wasn't doing much support in the slightest. So we've taken it out. We've done that quite quick speed considering the weather. Compressed a lot of the wire, barbed wire still to compress. Some of these shepherd's crooks were actually in and amongst it, which are always fantastic to have. I keep those by for string line jobs, etc. Oh, I shan't bother walking all the way down through there. But um, yeah, you get the point so far. We're going to put a note up on the local Facebook group, see if any of the local scrap men want to come and weigh in the, the wire that was left over. They can earn a little bit of money out of it, but add it to a load. Um, right, time to get a hedge cutter and the strimmer out. And uh, oh, it's so miserable today. But I'm really pleased with how we're motoring along. Let's get this phone in the dry in my pocket again. <laughs> for work. I don't even know how to fly this. This is just crazy. 
I think it's a bit late to be putting my hood up now. Wow. Life of a gardener. Okay, so there we are. Now what should have been an easy job today has turned into blood, sweat and nearly tears. What happened? Banging in one of the last posts with a whacker and uh, Nick was just finishing up on one of the previous posts and uh, my foot gave way from all of the mud and the whacker, the, uh, the post rammer came down and caused me a blow. Uh, needless to say it um, tingled somewhat.
I think it's just the skin. It was a few. It was a couple of hours ago now. Um, yeah, gone through some precautions. You know, made sure, sat down, had some drink, had something sweet. Um, you know, etc., etc., etc. So we've gone through it all. And yeah, anyway, it happens. You know, accidents happen, and that's all it was. But on the upside, we've got this job done. Um, not precious fencing, but it's a necessity fence. Um, let me just put that back there. A necessity fence. So it's um, functional for what it is. It's not like uh, we're in the garden of, um, you know, and you've got to be very precise. Not like um, panel fencing or, you know, palisade or anything like that. So this is just purely for what it is. Defining the boundary keeping out any animal, uh, keeping in, in horses with a little bit of um, wire and such. Anyway, pardon me, let's turn the camera around and you can have a little look. So we've got our first strainer post in there, now we could put a cross member of, uh, over there, but because we've done it in a shorter run, where we've put another one in, it's not necessary. So, there we are. This is classed as cattle fencing or stock fencing. So you've got the uh, small run along the bottom, you know, for rabbits or whatever, but the warrens through here, the ground isn't straight, uh, isn't flat. Um, so yeah, we've got that through just the one strain barbed wire across the top. And that's where we put another strainer post in there. And as I say, I'm not gonna go all the way down, but it, you know, it goes down through there and you can actually see in the distance another strainer post before we continue through there so we've cut back the hedge as well they're massively strimmed up the area and then back round through there I mean we've had some atrocious weather today it's been absolutely disgusting but the, the sheer fact of it is we had to get this done today because otherwise um, uh, well, we're, we're near upon Christmas. We haven't got a lot of time, and then January is pretty much filled up. We're into February. February is pretty much filled up, and then going into next year, um, well, come March time, we, you know, that's our, our busy period when we start to get all our new works come through, etc. Yeah, I'm sorry I haven't managed to do much filming today, with it being so wet. And then I didn't particularly feel like doing too much filming once I got smacked over the head. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I wasn't sure if it was going to be a, a hospital visit, but I feel fine, apart from the uh, a little obvious you're going to feel. Um, there we are. A little stock fencing in one day.